I'm Adam Williston and welcome back to your Package Point of View. On this edition, we'd like to introduce you to Lisa Ng, who recently joined the Package Grassroots Collective. Lisa draws her inspiration on the environment around her, her friends, and even food. Add some little twists of her own, and bam! Some super sweet art. Here we are at the Sleeping Giant Gallery with Lisa Ng. Say hello. Hello. Awesome. Lisa has just joined our Grassroots Collective and working with us on some of her own designs and her own signature series, which will be out soon. But right now, let's get to know her a little bit. So Lisa, you were born in Hamilton yep. and then moved to Toronto yep. and attended the Ontario Art of College and Design. Ontario College of Art and Design. Okay. But and you still live in Toronto now? Uh, yep. And do you paint from home? Is your studio in your own home? Yep. What are you doing now? You're attending school for nursing. Yep. H how do you balance the artwork and the schooling? A lot of time management. I'm usually never bored. Um, sometimes nursing will kind of leak into my art and sometimes art will kind of leak into my nursing. Nice. Yeah. What inspires you to, to for your work and to you to paint? What, what is it that really gets you going? Uh, life in general, people, my friends. Food. How's, how does food, does food just inspire you? Uh, there's a lot of food in my art. Like there's a banana peel there. Nice. It's like people that people can connect, you know, because everybody needs to eat. Yeah. Okay. So it's a good topic. People seem to like food. <laughs> how do you feel being Canadian has shaped your style or your art? Uh, well, probably in ways that I don't even realize, but um, I've lived in Canada, so I'm sure the way I think like a Canadian, and I probably act like a Canadian, I probably paint like a Canadian. Awesome. So. Um, after you left school, you worked with Pablo Jueves? Pablo Jueves, yep. Tell, can you tell me a little bit about him? Uh, he's an artist. He's from Mexico, I think. Anyway, uh, he's about mid-60s. He's a painter. I see him from time to time. I met him at Art Michael Gallery through my friend John. Um, I learned a lot from him, um, but we think he made up his name because Jueves means Thursday in Spanish and we only ever see him on a Thursday. A little bit of an enigma. Yeah. Um, can you tell us about the uh, Michael Art Gallery? Art Michael Gallery. Uh, it was a gallery and that me and my friend John and Brent started. Uh, we do shows from time to time. We have one coming up in the summer in June. And where is the gallery? Um, Art Michael Gallery now is kind of, it's very fluid. It kind of floats from somebody's apartment to apartment. Nice. Kind of have to just be in the right place, right time. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, tell me a little bit about where we are now, the Sleeping Giant Gallery. How did you get associated with these guys in this place? Uh, well, when it first opened, uh, the owner was looking for a DJ. My brother happens to be a DJ. And uh, I think word got around and Josh found out that I made some art and he checked out my website. He seemed to really like it. So now I show here from time to time. Nice. So what's next for you? What are you, what are you working on right now? Right now, well, actually right now I'm on a creativity sharing strike, but we're having a vote tomorrow. So more shows coming up. Um, I have a solo one here at the end of August. So where can the PKG faithful go and find out more about you and your work? You can go to www.lisaingart.com. Awesome. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you. So that's it for this package point of view. I want to thank Lisa for taking time to speak with us and also for joining our Grassroots Collective. So thank you again, Lisa. Until next time, keep it real. Keep fit and have fun.